It's a basic principle that heat flows from a warm body to a cooler body. <laughs> Anybody knows that. The same principle is what makes a room air conditioner work, which is a good thing for anybody to know. Of course, you must remember the three jobs an air conditioner does. It cools the air and cleans it and dehumidifies it. The main job, cooling, is simply the transfer of heat. Heat always flows from a warm body to a cooler one. So to cool a room, you need a cool body to absorb the heat in the room. Then you must get this heat outside, raise the temperature further so the heat will flow into the outside air. Remove the case from this general electric super thrust and you can see how this is accomplished. A room air conditioner is essentially two compartments, room side and outside, separated by a barrier. Creating the cold body that absorbs the heat from the air in the room are the evaporator coils. Expelling the heat to the outside are the condenser coils. The barrier separates them. A compressor circulates refrigerant through the system running cold in the evaporator to draw heat from the room. Then compressed to a high temperature to run hot through the condenser, expelling heat to the outside air. A blower on the room side and a fan on the outside move the air across the coils. That's the barrier. Evaporator on the room side, condenser on the outside. Compressor, blower wheel, and fan. The blower wheel pulls the room air into the air conditioner through the appearance front and through a filter, which helps to clean the air. The filtered air strikes the barrier and is directed back into the room through the evaporator. Here, the heat is transferred from the air to the cold evaporator coils. And here also is where the air conditioner dehumidifies the air. It is a basic principle that when warm air is cooled below a certain point, moisture is forced out. This is called the dew point. The dew point is when the air can no longer hold the moisture. For instance, when warm air strikes a cold glass, moisture condenses on the outside. Thus, the moisture condenses on the cold evaporator, then runs down into the drip tray. This same moisture, because of the spine fin construction of the evaporator, is also collecting small particles of dirt from the air and washing them away. Air wash, it's called. The air, cool, clean, and dehumidified, now flows back into the room. Meanwhile, on the outside of the barrier, the fan pulls the outside air through the case across the hot condenser. The heat is transferred from the hot condenser to the cooler outdoor air. And the air, now hot, is blown back outside. At the same time, the moisture is being expelled with the hot air. The moisture from the evaporator flows through the barrier. A slinger ring attached to the fan sprays it against the hot condenser. This converts the moisture back into hot, humid air, which is blown outside and dissipated in the cooler outside air. On muggy days, a general electric air conditioner removes gallons of water a day from the air. Now you've seen how an air conditioner works. Don't forget to listen, because the compressor and fan motor and moving air can all make a racket.
but not General Electric. Cool, crisp, clean, and quiet. Balanced comfort is General Electric.